Now, y'all are called the odd couple of home renovations. You're asking that like it's a question? <laughs> no, it, have you, have you not, ever seen anybody look more like Bert and Ernie? <laughs> home renovation shows comprise a pretty successful TV niche on their own. Besides other important aspects, it's undeniable that part of the winning formula for this genre is having two hosts per show, and HGTV's Boise Boys is a good example. Hosted by the Idaho-based Luke Caldwell and Clint Robertson, Boise Boys show us that these two guys' home flipping business, Tim Britton Love, is able to give both to its customers and overall community. While there are too many differences between Luke and Clint, there are few similitudes or it makes everything work well in the end. The results are more than homeowners could ask for, in addition to the sense of accomplishment that every project provides these best friends with. Nonetheless, there's still too much to know about Luke and Clint. Who are they? What's up with their career background? And what did they do to become so big in a show? What's to know about their personal life and religious views? Learn here all the lesser known facts about Boise Boys. When it comes to the Boise Boys, there are a lot of interesting topics to talk about, spanning both their professional and personal lives. In this regard, religion is an unusual topic of discussion whenever the names Luke Caldwell and Clint Robinson are mentioned. Whether it's on or off camera, both men have no qualms when it comes to talking about their faith and how they apply their beliefs to their everyday life and work. To clear up any misconceptions, it's necessary to point out that both Luke and Clint are Christians, not Mormons, as has been rumored. For his part, Luke was the lead vocalist and guitarist of Estrelin, a worship band founded in 2008 and based in his native Idaho. Though Estrelin hasn't released new music since their 2014 studio album Love, they achieved a certain fame in the US Christian community during their active years, despite not having the same music achievements as his co-host. Clint is also a faithful Christian and a member of the Samaritan Ministries organization. Regardless of the differences, the team formed by the Boise Boys, Clint Robertson and Luke Caldwell, is just too good not to love. However, they're more than just two guys who were lucky enough to be cast in a series. Long before Boise Boys came to life, these men were already doing their own thing. Clint Robertson was born in Austin, Texas and raised in a nearby Fort Worth. Growing up, it was clear for everyone to see that Clint had a natural talent for sports, studies, and even singing. As expected, his clever skills ended up winning him a full scholarship at Texas Christian University, where he enrolled into a health-related course. However, seeing that his chosen career was just too far away and that he found himself more invested in the business side, Clint eventually changed in 1993, joining the Southern Methodist University to study business law. Unfortunately, the passing of his father, in addition to his family's business downfall, left Clint in a very rough situation by the late 1990s. Having lost all of his money in unsuccessful investments, Clint had no other option than to add more titles to his career portfolio by becoming a radio MC and a real estate investor. Unknowingly to many, Clint Robertson's debut on TV occurred long before Boise Boys. It all goes back to 2008 when Clint left real estate and law altogether to focus on his family. The sudden career change took him to Idaho, where he became a minister and a full-time family guy, occupations he kept for two years until, in a bold and sudden move, Clint successfully auditioned for The Apprentice in 2010. Said show's 10th season saw Clint not only debuting on TV, but also proving how far his hard-working attitude could take him. As one of the few to stay in until the finale, Clint's participation seemed to be at its peak during the last challenge. But as affirmed by himself, his apparent inability to catch the show's audience's hearts and his habit of saying y'all took the prize out of his hands. On his return to Idaho, Clint started a gold pawning business, which turned out to be so successful that it allowed his family to buy a nice house in Boise. Now, in the center of the city, Clint's particular sense of spotting good money opportunities guided him to the local flipping business. After becoming a certified contractor and making the right connections, Clint finally found the right place for himself and his family to stay permanently. Despite Clint pretty much keeping to himself when it comes to his private life, information about his family and romantic associations is actually known. Clint met Sandy, the love of his life, during his time in the Texas Christian University. As Sandy describes it, meeting her now husband was life-changing and took her off course. After dating for several years, the pair eventually tied the knot in 1992. However, despite enjoying their newlywed bliss, other aspects of Clint's life weren't as good. His graduation was followed by a 9-6 job, leading to one of the most exhausting, unsatisfying, and especially frustrating periods of his life. The following years he spent in studying for his second career, starting a family with Sandy, and often traveling to take care of his father's businesses. However, Disgrace rang his doorbell when his father Joe became addicted to painkillers, a harsh situation which eventually led to the Robertson Patriarch's death. More difficult situations were in store for Clint as he was pushed to sell his family's house to make a failed investment that almost left him bankrupt. Nonetheless, Clint assures that reconnecting with his spiritual side put him back in the right track of life. All in all, those bad times have been left in the past, and nowadays Clint's family and professional life is going on well. Unlike his down-to-earth and more methodical co-host, 
Luke Caldwell is definitely the creative and more free-spirited side of the Boise Boys team. Although Luke's education and career background isn't well known, his early life's experiences are very much inspiring. As a man very comprised of his faith, Luke's father went on a mission to found several orphanages in India. During one of those usually long trips to the distant Asian country, a 12-year-old Luke found himself experiencing a life-changing event by meeting several orphan children. As Luke affirms, back then, his young mind couldn't comprehend why those kids who played and hung out with him didn't have families to take care of them. But fast forward, and the experience opened his eyes to situations he wouldn't have knowledge of otherwise. Considering his strong sense of empathy and skill in acknowledging other people's hardships, it's not surprising Luke's religious beliefs were reaffirmed during those trips and led him to become a pastor later on. And just like the show's co-star, Luke has had a multifaceted career so far. Born and raised in Boise, it only makes sense that his projects were always based in that community. Besides his years as a local Christian pastor, Luke's wish to preach and reach young audiences led him to join the music industry in his early 20s by founding the rock band Grand Prize. Formed by Guys Who Love Jesus in the 2000s, Grand Prize was signed by Apostrophe Records, through which they released several albums, including the highly praised Identity. While the success of the band was impressive, a change of route was due eventually. That's how Grand Prize passed to become Esterlin, a band with a softer sound but with the same goal as its predecessor. As Esterlin's vocalist, Luke released five studio albums, which in his words, were meant to represent Jesus Christ. Though at the time, his career as a pastor had apparently long ended. His music allowed Luke to financially support his young family. However, when he and his wife went on their mission to adopt several children in need, the money provided by music wasn't enough anymore. This led Luke to explore another side of his creativity by becoming a self-taught interior designer, putting Esterlin's activities on hold for years until he eventually became soloist Luke Caldwell. Luke Caldwell is married to Miranda, the only sweetheart he's ever had. As stated by Luke, his wife had similar experiences with traveling and adoption as he'd had during his early years, something which made them click immediately. Though both were very open on the topics of children and adoption, the couple actually took five years after their marriage to welcome their biological children. Parenthood opened Luke and Miranda's eyes to adopting kids with special needs, feeling that such kids unfortunately had less possibilities of being adopted under normal conditions. As affirmed by Luke, what ultimately prompted them into adopting kids was a vision Miranda had of a Chinese boy sitting next to her. She started looking for foster houses online in China, and though they didn't take the big step right away, the couple eventually adopted a physically impaired boy named Morris and adopting three other children from the same orphanage not long afterwards. In 2021, Luke and Miranda finally welcomed their seventh child and third biological baby named Arrow. All in all, the Caldwell's mission to give a home and a family to as many children as they could is nothing but inspiring and a good example of the type of stars we would certainly like to see more often on TV. Though Boise Boys has aired just two seasons so far, it's undeniable that they've caught the attention of fans of interior design and house flipping all over the world. While there are already a lot of shows centered on renovations, Boise Boys offers its audience a simpler but enthralling point of view of remodeling houses. Teaming up to achieve their project goals for every opportunity, it's not always easy for the very different Clint and Luke, but it's their down-to-earth personalities, realistic work approach, and undeniable complementing personalities that makes Boise Boys a great show. The reasons for entering the flipping house business were very clear for both. While Clint wanted another try in real estate, Luke was in it to afford his children's adoption. By the time Luke and Clint met, thanks to a mutual acquaintance in the local church, they had already been in the business for a while. Even so, both men still needed something else to push their individual projects forward. That's how, not long after meeting him for the first time, Clint ended up finishing one of Luke's ongoing renovations at the time, which turned out so well that they had no hesitation in continuing working together. With the goal of bringing positivity and something unique to every project, their co-owned design firm, Timber & Love, finally became reality in 2015. The name of the business is self-explanatory, as while they always incorporate timber into every household build, each project also includes special care for detail and a lot of love from their side. By doing everything themselves, Timber & Love eventually attracted the attention of HGTV, starting what we now know as Boise Boys. Ever since Boise Boys' second season ended in mid-2020, fans have been enthusiastically waiting for another season to drop. However, seeing that no new episodes have premiered since then, it makes us naturally wonder, could Boise Boys have been cancelled? While the truth is that while the show hasn't officially ended, no news about its renewal has been announced either. Instead, HGTV took a different route by premiering Luke and Clint's new show Outgrown in mid-2021. This new show also focuses on their business Timber and Love, though this time, the pair helps families all over the ever-growing city of Boise by transforming their bland-looking properties into dreamlike homes. By personally knowing the individuals and families who are going to live in these houses, Clint and Luke's work in Outgrown pays more attention to detail 
and whatever makes homeowners the happiest. It's still uncertain if this new series is a replacement for Boise Boys, but for now, we're simply happy to see the two friends on TV again. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.